Hello children, we have started on a new series on the Tabernacle Prayer. Can you remember the story and what you have learned in the book of Exodus? Do you remember that Moses went up to Mount Sinai to receive God's law? And while he was there, God told Moses something else that Moses and the people of Israel needed to do for him. Make me a tabernacle because I want to dwell among you, God said to Moses. I will tell you exactly how the tabernacle should be made. The tabernacle is indeed a very special tent where God would dwell. It was where God met His people and where the Israelites worshipped while they travelled through the desert for 40 years. The tabernacle holds the sequence of entering into God's presence. It illustrates God's pattern of worship for us. And so, we want to learn how to pray through the pattern of the tabernacle known as the Tabernacle Prayer. First, do you remember that the tabernacle was split into three different areas? The outer court, the holy place, and the holy of holies. And as they entered the tabernacle, the children of Israel would pass through seven stations into God's presence. These same seven stations can help us to connect with God and lead us through some important aspects of prayer. So children, do you remember the actions? The seven stations are Station number one, the altar court, thanksgiving and praise. And we learned our Bible memory verse last week was taken from Psalms 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Station number two, the bronze altar, which speaks about the cross of Jesus. Station number three, the labor, which speaks of cleansing. Station number four, the golden candlestick, which speaks about the Holy Spirit. Station number five, the table of showbread, which speaks about the Word of God. Station number six, the altar of incense, which speaks of worship and prayers. Station number seven, the Ark of the Covenant, which speaks of intercession and intimacy. Wow, do you remember all the seven stations? Well, do not worry, stay tuned. But right now, let's continue to learn what the other six stations are and what they represent in our prayer life. Are you ready? Let's go! Station 2, The Bronze Altar In the Old Testament, everyone who had committed sin had to bring animal sacrifices repeatedly to atone, which means makes payment for their sin. The sacrifices were then burnt on the bronze altar. Today, we no longer have to offer animal sacrifices when we sin. Why? Because Jesus died on a cross and shed His blood once and for all, for all our sins. He is the ultimate sacrifice. When we approach the bronze altar, know that we are free from our sin and Jesus had died on the cross more than 2,000 years ago. Now, we simply need to receive the benefit of what Jesus has done for us. We often say that Jesus made a minus to plus difference in our lives. Jesus took our sins and made us right with God on the cross. Jesus took our sickness and gave us healing. Jesus took our sadness to give us joy. Jesus took our trouble to give us peace. Jesus took our poverty to give us provision. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us and making a difference in our life. Amen. That's right, children. Now we are at station three, which represents the labor. That's right. Now, what's the first thing all of you do when you return home? I don't know about you, but the first thing I always do is to wash my hands and my feet. How many of you do that as well? Similarly, at station 3, the laver, which is also made of bronze, was a wash basin used by priests in the tabernacle in the wilderness as a place where they cleansed their hands and feet. The priests had to wash their hands and their feet before entering the holy place. The laver was positioned in a convenient place for 
washing and stood as a reminder that people need cleansing before approaching God because God is holy. The priests washed their hands because they worked and served hard with their hands. They washed their feet because they often travelled on foot and it represented where they went and their walk with God. In the same way, whatever we do, in word or in deed, wherever we go, let us always check our hearts and our motives. Our Bible memory verse tells us, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Taken from 1 John 1 9. At the labor, invite the Lord today to review the sins in your life. Tell God, God, come and search my heart. See what is in my heart. Test me and know what I am thinking. See if there's anything in my life not right and pleasing to you. Come and cleanse me and help me to live in the way that is always right. Right now, why not let's take a moment and ask God to reveal what are those areas that are not right. Have you been angry with someone this week? Do you use words that you shouldn't be using? Were you rude? Even in this moment, let's come before God. Repent from all our wrong ways and let God cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Remember, coming to God in repentance is an important part of daily prayer as we enter God's presence. So children, remember station 3, which represents the labour and that reminds us of cleansing. As we close our eyes in worship, let us approach the bronze altar. Here we're reminded of what Jesus has done for us on the cross more than 2,000 years ago. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. Make me clean with your precious blood. I am made right with God. I now belong to God's family and I am a child of God. And let us move on to the labor. Let us check our hearts and mind and ask God to reveal the areas of our life we need to make right with Him today. Let us surrender our lives to God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I surrender my life to you. Search my heart and see if there's any wicked way in me and cleanse me. May my life be holy and pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, and all God's children say, Amen. Happy National Day! Thank you for watching Harvest Kids Online and today we learned about the bronze altar and the labour. That's right and we have three challenges for all of you children. Number one, memorize the actions for all seven stations which you will be learning. Number two, pray for 10 minutes daily. Number three, complete and submit our weekly quiz which will be provided in the link. Yes, that's right. And of course, do remember to follow, like, share and subscribe to Harvest Kids YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook. And we will see all of you again next week, same time. See you! See you!